Okay, this is uh, Honors Geometry, period two. And we are doing the area of shaded sectors. Um, now, I know, first and foremost, that we haven't gone over this yet. But this is very, very similar to arc lengths that we went over when we did circles. Uh, remember how we would find the total circumference of the circle and then multiply it by that portion of the circle that we were going around. This is very similar. So I, you guys will get the hang of this super easy. Um, and I apologize to Ms. Lamelli for giving you guys an assignment, which you have to learn and then do. Anyway, find the area of each shaded sector around the nearest hundredths place. So here we know that GH is 11, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to start off by finding the entire area. So we know area is pi r squared, right? So that's going to be pi times 11 squared or 121 pi. Because it asks for uh, to the nearest hundredth, we might as well get that out of the way. And we're going to get 380.13. So the area here is three of the total thing is 380.13 inches squared and that would be this whole thing well I don't want that whole thing all I want is this little wedge well that little wedge is 64 degrees so it's 64 degrees out of 360 degrees so we take 380.13 multiply that by 64 divide by 360 and that is going to give us 65, 67, sorry, 0.5, and then it's 79, so we're going to round up to 58 square inches. And that is the area of the shaded sector. So the equation we're going to use is the area of the shaded is going to be equal to pi r squared. That's the total area times whatever degrees our shaded area is divided by 360. Because you know 360 goes all the way around. KL here is 20. So you know, the area equals pi times 20 squared. That gives me 400 pi. That's a lot of pi's. Which is 628.32 square feet. But we're not looking for the whole thing. We're only looking for 119 360ths of it. So we multiply that number by 119 divided by 360. And we get the area of the shaded is equal to 200 and 7.69 square feet. Easy peasy. Again, um, so now I want you guys to try and do this by yourself. I want you to use the uh, video as a tool to help you understand it, not necessarily as, what is it? Hey girl. Not necessarily as a, um, as a crutch so i don't want you guys okay in or out i'm making a i'm making a video and making a movie. i'm talking to my dog i'm not just losing my mind um out. so um i don't want you using this is oh i'll just look on here fast forward freeze write down all the answers and then be done in five minutes okay so 23 degrees b to a is 6.5 centimeters Rama, come here. So we go the shaded area. I'm just going to go a sub s is equal to pi times 6.5 squared times 23 over 360. Hey, Rama. So you 6.5 squared times pi times 23 
divided by 360 equals 8.48011850, but we're doing it to the nearest hundredth. So we get 8.48 <laughs> square centimeters. Hold on. Let me go figure out why my dog's yapping. And I haven't yet figured how to pause this, so you guys are going to come with me. Okay. So, what we're doing now, do you want to go outside? Now, notice here, this is again very similar to the ones that we dealt with in. Mama, what are you doing? Outside. Mama, go. Um, we dealt with with arc lengths where we had to subtract 360 from the given length to figure it out. So we know the shaded area is going to be 360 minus 87 degrees. Three there, 36, 35, 7, 2. That's 273 degrees. The... Um, y to Z is 14.2, so that's my radius. So I'm going to go 14.2 squared times pi, pi r squared. That's the total area of the circle. Times, and we just want the shaded area. So that's 273 degrees out of 360. And I left my calculator in my room. So, hey Google, what's 14 squared times pi times 273 divided by 360? 14 squared times pi times 273 divided by 300 is approximately 560.3. Oh, Google, you were so close. Um, it was divided by 360, so do that on your calculator. Um, no, they're, they're going to be doing this in class. They don't have Googles that are going to get set up. So, so they will hear your voice in my class. It's okay. Uh, well, I was going to say some of them know you because you're in the show. But the ones who know you from being in the show will be in the show and not in class, so it's okay. Anyway, that's my daughter. Everyone say hi, Bella. She said hi back. Okay, so here again, we have a shaded area that's outside. So we have 360 minus 32. And so that's going to be 348 degrees. That's not at all what it's going to be. It's going to be 328 degrees. Yeah. K to L, 27.1 millimeters. So it's a very teeny tiny circle. I, you know, compared to this one, which was 11 inches, it's much bigger. Because, you know, an inch is 2.54 centimeters. So it's really not that much bigger at all. It would be like 22 somewhat centimeters. Yeah, that's what you get when I make videos at 10 o'clock at night. So, okay, um, where were we? All right, area of the total circle, 27.1 pi. I'm going to square that 27.1. And then we're going to multiply it by 328 over 360. And let's see if Google can do it this time. Hey, Google, what is 27.1 squared times pi times 328 divided by 360? Sorry, I don't have any information about that. Hey, Google. What's 27.1 squared times pi times 328 divided by 360? 27.1 squared times pi times 328 divided by 360 is approximately 2,102.13. 2,102.13. Point one three millimeters squared. 
Yeah, that seems about right, honestly. Good job, Google. Hey, Google. Thank you. Thank you, Steven. See? Google's polite. I know. Dog or cat broke wand. Mama angry. So, uh, the, we're doing the flip here. Um, again, they're giving you the wrong measurement. And then, so you just need to go 360 minus 311. Um, and that's going to give you 49 degrees right there. P to Q, 2.8 inches. And so the area, the shaded area, is going to be our total area, pi times 2.8 squared, times 49 divided by 360. Hey, Google, what's 2.8 squared times pi times 49 divided by 360? 2.8 squared times pi times 49 divided by 300 is approximately 4.02. Google, you're not picking up the 360. Okay, anyway, so just drop that into your calculator. Um... by eight it should be like four point something ish okay ooh tricky tricky so notice what we have here is we have 136 degrees shaded but it's also its opposite is shaded which means that this is 136 degrees as well which means the total shaded area is 136 plus 136 or 136 times two which is going to be 272 degrees. B to D is 18 centimeters. B to D is a diameter. We cannot find the area with a diameter. So we cut it in half. See how I did that? I cut it. And then I wrote the half number there. Tricky, huh? So... We're going to go 9 squared times pi times 272 divided by 360. Again, that 9 squared pi, or 81 pi, is the entire area of the circle. And then the 272 divided by 360, well, that's the area that has been shaded. Hey, Google, what is 81 times pi times 272 divided by 360? 81 times pi times 272 divided by 360 yes. is approximately 192.27. Woohoo! Number eight. So all we're doing here is adding a little bit of difficulty each time. So notice here how they give you the 108, um, which is again not the shaded area. But we know that V to X right here is 180 degrees. So this little shaded area right here is going to be 180 minus 108, or 72 degrees, which makes this 72 degrees, which makes our total area that we're looking to find uh, the sh that's shaded is 144 degrees out of the 360 degrees. So they give us a radius here. So we're going to go 5.3 squared times pi. That's our total area if we had shaded the entire circle. And then we multiply that by 144 over 360. Hey Google, what is 5.3 squared times pi times 144 divided by 360? 5.3 squared times pi times 144 divided by 360 is approximately 35.3. For some reason, they didn't give me hundredths, so you'll just have to do that on your own. And I'm going to... See, this is a much bigger circle. It's 5.3 kilometers. So that's like a lot. It's not quite a mile. Um, that's actually well over a mile. Because a mile is 0.6 kilometers. Hey Google, what's 5.3 divided by 0.6? 5.3 divided by 6 
is approximately 0 0.88. Yeah, that's not. So, yeah, we'll just pretend that didn't happen. And the dog's back. Hey, Belle. I don't know what those wires are, but can you have her not chew on them? Again? Yeah, well, maybe don't have your dog's crate right by wires. It's not your fault. Good night, sweetie pie. Good night. Love you too. I love you too, honey. Rama. Rama, come on. Let's not eat cat litter. Let's go to bed. Okay. Rama, out. So now I'm back, and we don't have to rely on Google anymore. I've got my calculator. So here, what we're, we have to do is use the knowledge that the whole thing is 360, and we have two areas that aren't shaded. So first we're going to take away 26, and that is going to give us 334 degrees. And then this right here, that means that's 90 degrees. So we're going to take away 90, and we're going to get 244 degrees. So because we know what the unshaded portion is, 116 degrees, we know that the total shaded portion has to be 244 degrees. H to K, 25 feet. That's our radius. So we're going to go 25 squared pi, pi r squared. That's our total area. And then we multiply it by 244 over 360. That's the shaded area. And we get my calculator back. Is 1330.81. Okay. And 10, this is the last one in 17 minutes. Hopefully it took you guys a little bit longer. Okay. A little bit trickier here, but not really. We know this is 180. And remember, we know that if the arcs are the same, then the angles are the same. So this is 73. This is 73. 73 and 73 is 146. And honestly, I'm just going to go 360 minus 146. You could go 180 minus 146. Um, get 34. Add 34 to 180. 180 and 234 is 214. Um... Or you can do it this way and get 214. Wow. S to R, notice here they give us a diameter, so you got to cut it in half. So the radius here is 13 meters. So we go pi times 13 squared. That's our pi r squared. That's the whole area. We multiply that by the portion that's shaded, 214 out of a total of 360 degrees. So drop that into our calculator. Is 315.607 or 315.61 square meters. And that's how you do shaded areas. Is there more? Oh, no. That's on the next one. So this should keep you busy uh, until Monday. Um, hopefully I'll see you guys at the show over the weekend. If not, have a wonderful weekend. I'll catch you all on Monday. I know you guys behaved really, really well for Miss Lamelli, so thank you.